Algebra 2, 3.4D, Family of Lines and Parameter. Now this is the fourth and last video for Lesson 4 in Chapter 3. And if you haven't seen any of the previous videos for Chapter 3 and you start to get confused, you can just click on the description of this video and you're going to see the Algebra 2 playlist and you'll be able to click on that and go and scroll through it to see all the videos that you missed. So in the linear equation y minus 2 equals k times x minus 3, the set of all the lines that are made from replacing k with different values is called a family of lines. And k is the parameter of the family. So think, a family is related, isn't it? And a parameter is a numerical value that defines a system, or it sets the conditions of its operation. It's like a rule or a limit. So here's our linear equation and we can replace k with different numbers and then graph the resulting equations. So we can set k to equal to 2, 3, 4, or 5, and that's what we're going to do. But remember, we need two ordered pairs to graph each equation. All right, so we have to do a little math here. So here it's set to equal 2. All right, so I replaced the k with a 2. I'm going to set x to equal 1. I made my function table here so I can find my x and y values. And setting x to equal 1, that'll help us find y. Now, we've got 2 times 1, which is 2, and 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6. And in order to, which is a negative 4, and in order to isolate this y, because we're trying to find the value for y, we're going to add a 2 to each side to eliminate this, my, this negative of 2 right here. Okay, and create a zero pair. So now we've got y is equal to negative 2, because negative 4 plus 2 is a negative 2. So now we've got x is 1, and y is negative 2. Now we need to do it again, because we need a second ordered pair in order to graph a line. So it's still set to equal 2 for k, all right? We're still in the k is 2, but now we're going to set x to equal to 4. So now we've got 2 times 4, which is 8, and 2 times a negative 3, which is a negative 6. 8 take away 6 is a 2. We need to isolate this y. So we're going to add 2 to each side again, just like we did up here. And 2 plus 2 is 4. We get y is 4. So now we've got our ordered pairs. We've got a x1, and y is a negative 2, and x is a 4, and y is a positive 4. And we can graph this with our 1 and negative 2 and our 4 and our 4, and we get this line. And the, this is where the k equals 2, all right? Now we're going to do it where k equals 3, and we're going to do the exact same math. We're going to replace the k with a 3. We're going to set x to equal a 1. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times a negative 3 is a negative 9, so we get a negative 6 here. We're going to isolate the y, so we're going to add 2 to both sides to create a zero pair here, and we get y equals negative 4. See? Negative 6 plus 2 is a negative 4. So now we have 1 for x and negative 4 for y. We need the second ordered pair. So we're going to set x to equal a 4, just like we did over here. But now that the k is equal to a 3, let's see what happens. We get 3 times 4, which is 12 and 3 times a negative 3, which is a negative 9, and 12 take away 9 is a 3. We need to isolate this y, so we're going to add the 2 again, and we get y equals 5. So now we have these ordered pairs, the 1 and the negative 4, and the 4 and the 5, and we can graph those. Here's the 1, whoops, this one, 1 and negative 4, and the 4 and the 5, and this is where k equals 3, okay? Now we're going to do it where k equals 4. So we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did on the other ones. We're going to set x to equal a 1. We're going to do our math. We've got 4 minus 12. That's a negative 8. We're going to add the 2 to each side, and we get y equals negative 6. So when x is 1, y is a negative 6. We're going to do it again and set the x to equal a 4, just like we did in the other ones. And we're going to get 16 minus 12. That's a 4. Isolating the y and adding the 2 on each side, we get y equals 6. So now we've got a 1, negative 6, and a 4, 6. So we can graph that. Here's our 1, negative 6, and our 4, and our 6. And we've graphed that. I'm going to take a look at all of these at the end, so bear with me. So now we've got k equals 5. It's the last one. And we set x to equal 1. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times a negative 3 is a negative 15. 5 minus... 15 is a negative 10. 
we need to isolate y, so we add the 2 to each side and we get y equals negative 8. So now we have a 1 and a negative 8 for an ordered pair. So now let's set that x to equal 4 like we've done all along. Now we get 5 times 4, which is 20, minus 15, that's a 5. Isolating the y, we add the 2 to each side again. We get y equals 7. So now we have these ordered pairs, 1 and negative 8 and 4 and 7, and we can graph that. Here's the 1, negative 8, here's the 4, 7, and we've graphed that. Now, I'm going to take a step back. I want you to take a look at these lines. Can you see what's happened? Here's k is 2, k is 3, k is 4, and k is 5. Do you see what's happening to the line? As k grows, the line is getting steeper, isn't it? It's going from laying like this, and it's slowly moving upward, isn't it? So the graphed family of lines with parameter k as 2, 3, 4, and 5, it's getting steeper. The slope is changing. But if you remember from last year, and I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but this is kind of a challenge video for, for you guys. Do you remember from last year the slope formula and how to find the slope of a line from an equation? And it's the rise over the run? Well, if you look at this and you count the rise over the run, this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six for a rise, and th one, two, three for a run, and a six over a three simplifies to two, doesn't it? That means our slope is a two. Do you remember that from last year? Well, isn't it ironic that the slope is two and k is set at two? And in this one, when we count the rise over the run, the slope comes out to equal 3. And this is when k is equal to 3. Hmm. And in this one, when you count the rise over the run, we get that the slope is equal to 4. And look, that's where k equals 4. So you know what's going to happen on this one, don't you? We counted the rise over the run, and we got a 5. We got a 15 rise and a 3 run. And that 15 over, five, 15 over 3 equals 5, and that's when k was set to equal 5. So do you see what happened? The k is the same thing as the slope, isn't it? Isn't that ironic? So the family of lines and parameters are used in analytic and differential geometry. And our next video is 3.5a. We're going to talk about how to find the slope of a line. We're going to discuss this slope formula coming up and the rise over the run for those of you who don't remember from Algebra 1 and I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist right now. You can go in the video's description and click on those links and there's going to be a link to the Algebra 1 chapter playlist that coincide with this one, okay? All right, so I hope that was a new concept for you and opened your brain up a little bit, okay? All right. I'll see you next video. Bye.